Come on in, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. Um, because I have something to say. Yeah. And um, we will see how long it takes Facebook to garner up an audience for us with us having over two million fans and followers. Uh -huh. You would think it be will be very quickly. That's you know, right. If he could quickly give allegedly four hundred million dollars. Did I say four? I think it's four hundred million. Uh, it was a lot of million. Four hundred million dollars uh -huh. to Democrats and he could uh, gra gra build our whatever. A lot of people, the authentic people that wants to see our content because they follow us to see our content. Right, 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 right. Zucker. Right. Uh -huh. Bird. Hello, Nicole. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Hi. Rebecca. Hello, Susan. I'm just really ticked off. We're ticked you know, off today. Y'all know how I get. Yeah. Listen, and, and please don't judge me. Don't judge us. Don't judge me. The mm. other night I tried to be calm and silent. Yeah. But when stuff ticked me off, I got to talk about it still. Uh -huh. I got to talk about it. So I want y'all to come on in because I got something to tell you all. Okay? Uh -huh. uh, is it? Is it Merlin? Oh, Wait a minute, still calm me down. <gasps> calm me down. What? Okay, you know what? This is what pisses me off. They messing with the turkey? Okay, first it's the doggone pumpkins. Okay, so I'm, I'm minding my bit. Thank you, Silk. Go on the fan. See, this is, I don't know what kind of Thanksgiving and Christmas we gonna have, because we're not used to it. We used to turkey. We used to a lot of things. This look, because of Jim Crow Joe Biden's uh -huh, America. Uh -huh. I blame it all on him. He's the, the and he called himself the head. Yes, yeah, what he called himself mm -hmm, the head, mm -hmm. but he looking like the ass. Yeah, uh -huh, the that's tail. What he, that's what he is. The backside. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. There is a pumpkin shortage. Uh -huh. Now let me tell you why this upset me. Why? Because it's about to be Halloween. Uh -huh. I don't really celebrate Halloween, but other people do. Right. Other people carve pumpkins. Other people make pumpkin pies. They may use that stuff on the inside to make a pumpkin pie or right, whatever. Right. And now you're telling us there's a shortage on pumpkin. Oh, and pumpkin. the first thing that dropped in my mind, what, what happens when they start messing with the doggone sweet potato? Because we love sweet potato That's pie. right. You see what I'm That's talking about? That's right. And it just really ticks me off. And now I hear somebody talking about the turkeys. So now are we going to have a shortage on turkeys? All of this is being manufactured. You mean didn't nobody plant enough seeds huh? to make sure we had pumpkins? Pumpkins? I mean, who who do the planting of the pumpkins? Who? Did they pay them to stop planting the seeds for it? Mm. I mean, we are living in such a horrendous, such a, a dumb time. Fooling around with well, this Biden regime. All of this mess is engineered and created. It's manufactured it as is. far as I'm concerned. It is. It is. It as is. far as I'm concerned, I'm going to say allegedly in case a fact checker is on this feed listening to mm -hmm. me. How is it that we don't have no pumpkins? Uh-huh. And, and, and it may be a shortage of turkeys. Uh-huh. And see, you all, this is the consequences that happens. When you look the other way, yep. when you don't say nothing, when you keep your mouth shut mm -hmm. about what happened in 2020. Uh-huh. This is what happened. Everything is going to hell in a handbasket. Oh, my That's God. What it look like. Uh -huh. All because of a turkey. So, so Wisconsin got, listen, I just heard that there is a shortage on pumpkins. Uh -huh. Now, somebody said Wisconsin got some pumpkins. Well, Wisconsin may have some pumpkins, but it's going to be at a service the whole United States of America. Mm -hmm. Somebody said they got plenty of pumpkins. Uh -huh. See, because I'm like this here. Don't mess with them sweet potatoes. That's right. If you mess with them sweet potatoes, yes. I'm going to have a problem. Because y'all know I love to cook candy yams. That's right. And I love sweet potato pie. Uh-huh. With the, with the crust. I like the crust to be crispy. And then what about yeah. sweet potato bread? And the sweet potato bread and pudding. Uh-huh. Yeah. You all? So y'all got pumpkins out there. That's okay. They got pumpkins out there, but do we got pumpkins right uh -huh. here? Uh-huh. Hey, uh -huh. baby, Loretta says she's from Turkey. Yeah. There's no turkey show. Okay, thank you, darling. Uh-huh. Because this is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and it's bothering me. That's right. Yeah, uh-huh. Sean Hannity put it out. Bear shelves, Biden. Pumpkin shortage hits the USA days before Halloween. That's where I got the story from. Mm. Uh-huh. And then I saw somebody saying something about a, 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 a turkey shortage. Uh-huh. Okay. Look, leave okay, our great. food alone. Yeah, don't be don't Leave be our freaking like that. food alone. Mm -hmm. See, you need food to live. Mm -hmm. So leave it alone. That's right. Now, have y'all been going into the stores and seeing the shelves empty? Have anybody seen that yet? Uh -huh. Because uh, it's happening around some places where they're walking in the store, the stores, right. and the shelves, and the shelves are, are, are empty, are bare, are bare. Mm -hmm. meaning mm -hmm. empty. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody said that's because we grow our own. Okay, right. And everyone doesn't do that. that okay, that's, right. that's why they have it. I mean, North Carolina, no pumpkin shortage. Okay, no pumpkin shortage in North Carolina. But what about all over? See, it, it may not affect North Carolina, but it's affecting other places. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't have no shortage of really pretty much anything. And then when you look at all of those different pallets that's out there at the port, okay, 
in the sea, mm -hmm. in the ocean. Somebody said when, they looked for canned pumpkin for weeks and finally found so some. Like, yeah, but, but, but when you see all of that happening, you see, now you done made me lose my train of thought. You know, you cannot interrupt me, Diamond, while I'm trying to speak a sentence because as we get older, we have a tendency of losing our train of thought. That's but it was fine. a particular important point that I was about to make, and hopefully, it'll circle back to me through my mind okay. so I can close in the circle. Okay. Did it so what were we yet? talking about? I don't know what we was talking about, but somebody said, wait a minute, hold on for one moment. They live in Eastern Ohio, surrounded by farms. Okay, great. Uh -huh. Great, great, great. Listen, you all, and I, I do apologize. What, I told, we, what were we talking about? We were, we're talking, talking about, about the, the shortage and the pumpkins the and all of these things that's happening when it comes to our food supply. I got, I, my, it, it circled back to me, y'all. Let me hurry and tell you before I lose it again. That lets us know that we need to start manufacturing and making our stuff right here in America. That's right. We shouldn't have to be, be dependent on people that their stuff have to come in from other countries and sit there uh, on the port and, and nobody there. They say that nobody there to take and put it on the trucks to bring it into mm -hmm. the stores. Mm -hmm. Okay. That means we need to start making our stuff right here That's right. in America. So all you have to do is go to the manufacturing company in America. The trucks do. I load that stuff up and take it to its destination in America. Right. Okay. We got to stop depending on all of these different foreign countries mm -hmm. to make our products. Now, I asked them a question. Are they starting to see empty shelves? And I have a lot of people from all over the place saying, yes, they're starting to see the empty uh -huh. shelves. You all, these, this is dangerous. This is so dangerous messing with our, our food supply yeah. and messing with things like that. And right. I'm just, I, I don't want to take it to heart. But I'm very, 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 very concerned. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very uh, concerned. Yeah. Uh, somebody said thousands of truckers are parked, uh, wanting to be uh, waiting to unloaded. be unloaded. Like, okay, are they going to spoil? Okay. Are they going to die? Can I just are you this? feeding them in a truck? We have over 300 million Americans yeah. here in the United States. Please don't tell me can't nobody unload the dog on turkeys. Don't tell me nobody can't unload these trucks. That's right. Get the homeless off the street and put them to work. They can, they, they may want a job. Yeah. Don't tell me that. Yeah. Poor this workers. Is, this are, is crazy. I'm just looking at you all. Uh-huh. Okay, so the empty shelves are more East Coast. Okay. They have lots of pumpkin in North. Okay, great, great, great. Great. Somebody's scared. I'm scared we won't have medication and supplies. Listen. Start taking care of yourself. Yes, honey. Start taking and And I'm going to tell you this. If you can plant you a garden, go ahead and plant you one. You're going to have to do what you got to mm -hmm. do. Say no pumpkins in South Florida. Uh, I'm telling you what I'm hearing. Yeah. Well, All the ships can't move. That's where the food is at. Mm. Yeah. See, mm -mm -mm. Uh -uh. See, that's that's crazy right there. And, 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 and for me, this is the United States of the, of America, the greatest country on earth. How we oh, have a food oh, shortage. Yeah, food shortage. Food? With all of these different... Places around here, we short on food. And you all know that Diamond and Silk love to eat. We love to eat. And you tell it, well, honey, when you start, don't mess don't with the sweet potatoes. Don't mess with the food. Don't mess with the food. Mm -hmm. And I've been I'm cutting back on the food. That. I've been cutting back on the food so I can cut back on my weight. Mm -hmm. And now you want to talk about food short, so you're going to force me into weight loss? Right. You're forcing me into weight That's loss. That's what they're they doing. They're forcing That's what they're doing. doing. That's exactly what they're doing. Mm -hmm. are, they, are they crazy? Yeah, they're crazy. Yeah. It's my body, my choice. I want to lose weight when I want to lose weight. Don't force me mm -hmm. into losing weight by taking away my food. Well, you know what? They said that there's empty shelves in Walmart, but I'm really ticked off at Walmart. Oh, yeah. You all, please make sure you watch Newsmax this weekend, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Diamond and Silk Crystal Clear. Uh-huh. Um, because I'm just, I'm just really tired. Don't say tired because your body will actually start to feel tired. Uh huh. I'm, I'm, I had it. I'm, I'm up to here with some yeah. of these people. Yeah. And, the and then I'm looking it. at the turkey nest. See, I use the turkey nest in order to make my homemade uh, a cornbread dressing. Yes. I need my turkey nest. Okay, because there is something whenever you boil the turkey nets and the juice off the turkey nets, that's what you use as the water to pour in mm -hmm. over your dressing whenever you're making this stuff up. Right. If I don't have my turkey nets, I have to find some chicken broth. That's right. <laughs> Rick said, why is there a shortage of truck driver drivers all of a sudden? All of a I sudden? I don't know, but well, I did hear there were, I, I did hear that, but I have no idea. Uh-huh. I have no idea about Yeah, all of a sudden there's a shortage on this, there's a shortage. See, let me tell you something real quick, fast, mm -hmm. in a hurry. Okay, what I'm finding out is that a lot of people, especially on the left, what they love to do is to, to um, let me say it like this, because I'm, I'm looking at my fat checkers on here, so Come I, yeah, so I want to make cautious. sure I say it in a right way. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, some people, 
like to create the problem and then turn around and act like they are saveahobo.com. That's right. Uh huh. They come in to save the day. So then you'll be like, oh, they done saved me from being hungry or saved me from, from being homeless. Okay. When they, a lot of times, are the one that created the crisis for you to experience mm -hmm. it. So that they can say, I saved you. And they're trying to do a food shortage, like somebody said, uh, right before Thanksgiving. Right before Thanksgiving? Like, are you all... Yeah, they out of date. But, but this is what happens uh -huh. we don't, when we don't say anything about what happened in 2020. Let me tell you when all of this here stuff yeah. going to stop. When is it going to stop? Whenever we take and we start calling out what happened in 2020. Yep. When we can address that issue, yep. then you will realize what the heck is going on That's up right. and through here. That's right. You will realize what's uh -huh. going on up and through here. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody said start storing food and water now while you... Yeah. Ellie, yes. Don't play. Something is up. When I saw that about the pumpkins, the first thing I thought about was the sweet potatoes. The sweet potatoes. You'll be coming for the sweet potatoes next. You all, I have to make my sweet potato pie. Mm -hmm. I have to make sure my crust is crisp. How we going to do that this year? <laughs> and then what about you, the people that make you, the pumpkin if, pies? If you you're messing with the pumpkin, stuff. you're going to mess with the sweet potato. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't mess with the sweet potato. I bet you they won't mess with the chitlin, the chitlins. They won't mess wow. with the hall guys. Judy said, she said, I am blind and I have to use Instacart. Uh -huh. This updates all all these out of 38 items. They they were out of stock and 17 of them. So I guess out of 38 items, 17 of them was out of stock. Out of stock. That doesn't concern you. And you know what ticks me off. Let me what tell you what ticks me off. Tell when me. I see these people talking about they Biden supporters like this BS. But I'm going to tell you, something going to get real, real. real it's going to get real different when you have uh -huh. to walk, wash your behind up there in the grocery store with your little food stamp uh -huh. or whatever he done gave you. Yeah. And now ain't nothing on the shelf ain't but your behind the buy. Uh -huh. Then what you going to do? What you going to do? you going to still be supporting Biden? Is you? Mm -hmm. And then what about whenever your stomach reached your backbone? That's right. Uh-huh. It feel like you done got a tummy tuck because mm -hmm. you ain't got nothing in it. Mm -hmm. Then what? And I also heard this here. What? You all that's buying your hair and getting your nails done, uh -huh. you may want to save your money on that. Woo. Because come to find out some of the stores, some of the some of the Korean stores ain't even getting their supplies in. They ain't getting and no they, wigs. Uh, who, who buy the wig? Oh. Who buy the wig? Who buy the, who wig? Buy the nail? Uh-huh. Black people do that. Mm. Y'all always talking about diamond and silk wigs. Uh huh. Let me yeah. tell you what you mean. Better do. Uh -huh. A lot of you people, you gonna know who balls who, around here. That's right. Gonna be that's, a lot of balls. That's why right. so you gonna know who here. balls around here. Yeah. Because if the if the Chinese people cannot uh -huh. get in the hair, they can't bring in the hair. If they wig. can't bring in the wigs, uh -huh. what y'all gonna what do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Uh huh. I'm telling you all what I'm hearing. What you gonna These do? These people are not able to get their supplies, and if they can't get their supplies, they can't sell it to you. Ah. Uh -huh. You better start taking that so wig you, you got on me and rolling it. There is a possibility that the hair weave and wigs is out there in a port. They may be on the port, port in a back But a pilot. lot of these people are not getting their supplies in. A lot of these people are not getting their supplies in. Y'all better start washing that. Start washing that hair weave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or you gonna be yourself. Or you gonna be hairless? That's right. Mm -hmm. Somebody said a lot of truck drivers are are retiring. Okay. Yeah. Well, a lot of them are retired, but, but still, there's a lot of them still out there. We have 300 million people in yeah. the United States. Yeah. Don't tell me we can't get but, people to unload the trucks and do jobs. How is it that it's a shortage now, but it wasn't a shortage under President Trump? President Trump didn't have no shortage. Uh, we had great Christmas. Great. We had great Thanksgiving. Amazing. And now you telling me all of a sudden? What? Thanksgiving going to be horrible? We're we not ain't got no pumpkin? What? And it may be a shortage of turkeys? Look, That's what it may be. Yeah. See, silk is extra mad because you don't mess with my food. That's right. You don't mess with my food. Mm -hmm. I don't like nobody blowing their nose over my food That's right. when I'm trying to eat. Mm -hmm. Do not mess with silk's mm -hmm. food. Oh, no okay. food in store. I, I got a secret to tell everybody. What secret do you got to I tell hear y'all saying that you got all of your refrigerators stocked up. Uh-huh. That's very, very good. Now, here's what you're going to need to do. Okay. You need to go out and you need to get you a generator. generator. Okay, right. so if they start messing with the weather, uh -huh. if they start messing with our power grids or uh -huh. whatever, uh -huh. your stuff you can steal your stuff. Your your food won't spoil. Won't spoil because they they subject to do that. Yeah, and then your food spoil. Right. Yeah, your food spoil. And now what? Just go and do that, you all. Please go. So if anything happened, you can still savage. I go look at little house on the prairie. Mm -hmm. 
and see how they survive. Mm -hmm. That's probably what we're going to have to do mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. Joe Biden did say they're going to put you all back in chains. Whoa, somebody said truckers are waiting. Thank you, Rosemary. Uh -huh. Truckers are waiting at the docks for Lowe's. Uh -huh. There's no shortage on truckers. Thank you, Rosemary. That's what I it's heard. It's all being made. Let the truckers get out on the park. Let them get and on let the them park. get on the ships and get our stuff out of there. That's right. It just all right. makes me mad. And then y'all said, Diamond, calm down. I tried to be calm the other night. You see, I really didn't say nothing. But this uh -huh. right here, yeah. ooh, it ticks well, me enough off. to tick you off. How is this going to make her sweet potato pie? Okay, somebody said Thanksgiving is not about food. No, it's not. No. It's about loving. It's about caring for each other. Yeah. But for our family, it's also about food. We, eat we food. want silk to make her sweet potato pie like That's she right. always do. That's right. I want turkey. We I want, want dressing. dressing. I like homemade dressing. That's right. And so when you start talking about pumpkins are, 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 are yeah. not here, a shortage, uh, a shortage of pumpkin, a shortage of turkeys, yeah. I'm looking at you, the sweet potato now. If there's a shortage on turkeys, it's a shortage on turkey necks. Mm -hmm. That's right. I can't get the necks of the turkey so that I can boil them right. to get the juice off that I need to make mm -hmm. my homemade cornbread stuffing. And we know that this is about giving thanks. We do give thanks I to give, God. Hey, Jessica, let me oh, tell you something. Yeah. I thank God every day. Yeah. I don't have to wait yeah. one day to thank God. That's but right. But on Thanksgiving, the tradition is we cook. We cook That's what we do. That's family, the tradition right. A family to get around right. and we cook together. And now that mother is gone, we there with daddy. Right. So we'll probably all be there cooking, cooking and stuff. And that's that's right. the tradition. Yeah. And, and we like certain things. The certain smell of a candied yam. Yeah. The certain smell of sweet potato Cinnamon pie. in uh -huh. the air. Uh -huh. And, and I'm going to say this here is going to make some of you sick. Go ahead and If say you it. know how to clean those chitlins. Chitterlins. Uh -huh. If you know how to clean those chitlins, yes. those are good too. And right. some cranberry sauce. Uh -huh. And a little macaroni and cheese. Homemade and, macaroni that's and right. cheese. Uh -huh. And if you want to get real, real about it, throw some baked beans on there. That's right. <laughs> Pork that's, and beans. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's what we're using. Oh, don't oh, forget the collard greens and, and ham hocks and, uh -huh. and, and so And forth. maybe a little cabbage. That's right. And we used to have ham, and it used to be a honey baked ham. Honey baked ain't ham. Ain't no sense of me calling them this year. Right. Because they may be, we ain't got no ham because they out there on the porch. Uh-huh. And then pretty soon, whatever's out there, all that stuff right there going to be spoiled. Be spoiled. Out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so all year long, mm -hmm. Silk have to pull back from the table so that I can reduce my weight. And now for Thanksgiving, uh -huh. because I prepare myself for Thanksgiving and Christmas, because I know we're going to cook up a nice big meal. Right. But when you're shorting out the very thing that Silk needs to make her dishes, mm -hmm. Silk have a problem with that. And listen, I still thank God again every day. Mm -hmm. But for Thanksgiving, yes. we just like a certain decorum. We don't like to well, sway away from, from it. And I thank God on Thanksgiving to be able to have the strength to make the food and the different dishes. I need to prepare for the family to eat. Ooh, Joni said the Walmart workers are saying uh -huh. that the government is doing this store shortage. They don't know when the cargo ships are going to ship their supplies. Uh -huh. That's why we see prices rise. See? Manufacturer, but who voted for who this? Voted? You know, I got relatives that voted for this. I just look yeah. at them and shake my head. Uh -huh. I start to call one of my aunts and go off on her. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Well, didn't mother tell you what was gonna happen Didn't if you, you vote this way? Now look, uh -huh. look like some of you all gonna go in that grocery store uh -huh. and ain't gonna be nothing for you to buy. Yep, yeah. because you wouldn't listen. That's right. You better find mm -hmm. you a cheese line to uh -huh. stand in. Come on, a bread uh -huh. line. That's to stand what they gonna try to create. Uh huh. That's what they gonna try. That's Somebody that. said I'm hearing. Uh, the union is stopping. Oh, God. I, you, it went so fast, baby. I couldn't even read it. Let me just. I mean, it's a lot of stuff that we are hearing. But the, mm -hmm. the sad thing is that this is the United States of America. Right. <clears throat> we shouldn't be even talking about food mm -hmm. shortages. I mean, where the hell are we at? A third world country mm -hmm. or something? Mm hmm. Yeah. Serious? Oh, somebody said they don't like the word Thanksgiving because it's a godly word. Well, we like Thanksgiving. We like Christmas. Yeah. And I know some people like Halloween. I'm not a Hall. I don't celebrate Halloween. That's right. But they like Halloween around this time. It's fall. Right. They like to carve out the pumpkins and stuff. Yeah. Listen, the Jacqueline's and different things. They like to do different you things. Are, we are living in such a different time. And I really, really wish uh -huh. that we will come together as Americans yes. and say enough is enough. enough. Why is it that we have some ignorant so and so on running this country and make running it in the ground and the making ground. sure we don't get what we need here in America? That's right. They're giving you all this stimulus, but that money ain't gonna do you no good if ain't nothing on the shelves to buy. Mm. It ain't gonna do you no mm. good. Ain't gonna do you no good. And, and, and you all stop uh, uh, depicting all of these words. Uh -huh, that's right. And getting your feelings all tied up in all of these that's words. That's right. That's nothing but distractions and deflections. Uh -huh. 
Right now, we have traditions here in the United States That's of right. America. Mm -hmm. Okay? And we, people, when they come to this country, they need to assimilate to, to our, our ways. Uh -huh. okay? Not assimilate to, to their, their ways. ways. They don't celebrate Thanksgiving. That's then your don't problem. You do it. But we do it. Somebody said food brings people together. It That's does. That's right. It does. Especially and, good food. And back in the day, before... Let me just say this. Back uh -huh. in the day, before people of color started flying and stuff like that, right. they will travel. And when they travel to different states, uh -huh. whoever house they were going to, they will have all of this, this food, food cooked up. That That's was right. the norm. Because back then, during, the, during those days, you couldn't stop and eat at a restaurant. Right. You see what I'm saying? You couldn't like stop at places. So they will have... It's just tradition. It's tradition. I know it's tradition in our family. Yeah. Oh, and somebody said about the elderly. Oh, yeah. God. Please, y'all. Please look out for our elderly. I feel right. so... so I, I can't just take them all and be like this here. But please look out for our yeah, elderly. Yeah. But this tradition in our family to cook up all of this food. That is the tradition. That's what we do. And we will not sway away from the tradition. No, we won't. Even Christmas when the children got grown. Yeah. We still celebrate Christmas. We will not sway so away. We're not going to sway away And we do that. it with food. That's right. Mm -hmm. We, we love to eat. When y'all mm -hmm. go to parties, don't you have food? That's right. When mm -hmm. you go to the club, ain't they cooking you little chicken That's wings? That's right. Mm -hmm. It's food everywhere. Mm -hmm. Food is soothing. Yeah. And food do bring people together. Uh -huh. Terry said, I'm elderly. And Terry, we're praying for you all. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you're at, Terry. But whoever is around her, reach out to her. Listen, I love our elderly. Yeah. And let me tell you why I love our elderly. Uh -huh. Because my daddy is 75. Uh -huh. So my daddy said, it ain't going to be no cold winter this year mm -hmm. here in North Carolina. I said, well, daddy, how you know? He said, because the feathers on the chickens are not thick. They're not preparing themselves. For a for cold, cold winter, uh -huh. and it is still hot, and it's what uh, uh, October the fifteenth here yeah. in North Carolina. Older people know things. They know. They know the way. They know how to plant. They right. know how to tell time from the sun and what what and they what, know. They, that's things. right, right. <clears throat> and I think that our elderly are treated horribly uh -huh. because nobody worries about them. them. By regime is doing this. But what about our elderly, elderly that may need to go into the grocery store and need people something that suffer right because away? Of this. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You see, and, and look at how you're treating them. That's right. Not making sure they have what they need. Right. So I just, I'm just, and I Robin, yes, we're still around, Robin. <clears throat> Diamond and Silk are still around. We're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. What? Somebody said, oh, Robin, yeah. you... if God brought us to this, he's going to see us through yeah. this I with or you... without you, Robin. I bet you it was Robin uh, who voted for Biden. Oh. Well, when she take her Robin Hood behind uh -huh. in the grocery store yeah. and see ain't nothing on the shelf, uh -huh. well, that's Biden's America. What when you, you go, go to your gas, when you go uh -huh. get gas and you fill up your gas tank uh -huh. and it's double what it was up under Trump, yeah. it's double than what it was when, uh -huh. when Trump was leading this here country. That's right. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. This is Biden's America uh -huh. and this is what you voted for. That's Don't right. worry about whether we, we are still around. Uh -huh. You worry about whether you gonna be around or whether you ain't gonna starve from starvation Vation. fooling with your uh, king Biden. Uh -huh. Okay? That's right. That's what you worry about. Because Robin, your name may be Robin, uh -huh. but that don't mean you a bird. That's right. Uh huh. You can't fly nowhere, honey. You can't fly you gonna nowhere. You're going to get a taste of all of this. You sure is. That's your And friend. if you didn't vote, uh -huh. you voted for, for this. Because you did not state mm -hmm. your opinion about what you wanted and what you mm -hmm. didn't want. Mm -hmm. That's uh -huh. right. I, Debbie, meat is so expensive. Yes. So this time we wanted chicken, honey, a pack of wings was like $29 and some change. It's crazy. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Everything is going up. Everything. Yep. Mm -hmm. I do remember, I know most of our medications where they come, probably sitting on ships. Listen. Yeah. We are living. You know what? We are li Well, I told y'all to go look at Little House <laughs> on the Prairie. Mm -hmm. Go look at Little House on Somebody the Prairie. Said, get them down. Down. Thank you, Trip. Uh -huh. Listen, first of all, you got the people on the left. Don't be worried about Diamonds. We're about your own self. We're about your own self. We're about your own That's right. self. Yeah. Honey, we cover and protected by God. Uh -huh. While you Worry sitting out there you. with the you devil. You voted for this mess. You ignorant. I ought to call you up. This is why. We're about what? Me, 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 me. You said take a breath. Take a breath. We're going to take a breath. Because, honey, some of you all, I can read you for filth and cuss yes. your behind out probably for voting us into this suffering bed. right now. You're probably sitting there suffering right now. You're hungry right now, mm -hmm. wanting a piece of cheese mm -hmm. just to feel full. Mm -hmm. And you sitting up talking about y'all still here. Still Look, where are you at? Yeah, we still here. Mm, somebody said, I, oh, darling, wait a minute. Let me see if I can find it. Mm -hmm. Oh, really, Stephanie? It's an insulin shortage in Texas. All right. Mm. Okay. So now you're dealing with blood sugar. Now that's about people's lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I can't throw this out there. Mm -hmm. Protein, 
And no carbs. No carbs. Vegetables and protein. Vegetables and protein. And no carbs. Did it for me. Uh huh. Yeah. Pro That's yeah. what worked for me. Mm -hmm. Vegetables and protein. Mm -hmm. And no carbs. Mm -hmm. Don't eat all of these carbs. Carbs is what runs. I'm not a doctor. No, we're I'm not, not a scientist. No, we're not. But I do know after doing my research and reading, uh -huh. carbs is what runs your blood sugars up. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At I don't know why the Food and Drug Administration. Remember when they used to put that little, that little, that little chart out uh -huh. and tell you you should eat more pastas and, and stuff. Yeah. Why do you have us eating more pastas and breads? And that's what runs blood, blood sugar, sugar up. up. Now, if you don't believe me, you check it out. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Well. Where we at, girl? What we? I what just want to let everybody know that even though Diamond and Silk is going off about the shortage, we mm -hmm. still have a patriot out there on the battlefield. Fighting for the integrity of America. That's right. Mr. Mike Lindell mm -hmm. is his name. And he owns a business called MyPillow.com. Yes. If you use code DS21, that's code DS21. Use that code. You can save up to 66% off of your entire purchase. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's right. Sam, listen to me, Sam. Do not get overexcited about the insulin shortage. I know I was overexcited about the sweet potato. But if they get rid of sweet potato like they done tried to do the pumpkins, Ooh. we'll improvise. We'll do something. <laughs> I can't have no sweet potato pie this year. That's what that means. You know what I said the other day? I said all of these things that are happening is really to make us stronger yes. and to make us aware. Yeah. And perhaps maybe, just maybe, everything that we thought we needed, mm -hmm. do we really need do it? Do we really need it? Everything that they have us spending yeah. all of this money on, yeah. do we really, really need it? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see that. But we will survive. Mm -hmm. We are. We're going to be okay. Yes. Somebody, Sandra, said, eat your veggies also help your immune system. That's right, That's Sandra. right. A lot of times we gravitate to the fast food, the processed stuff, uh -huh. the stuff that makes us feel good. We spend all of this money on it. Yeah. But if you go to the shelves and you don't see it, maybe you need to, maybe you need to plant you maybe. a garden. Maybe. What did the old folks do? And why do they live long right. lives? Right. Why? What did the old folks do? How? Why? How did they do yeah. That? Yeah. What? Okay, Karen. I see I see that baby. Karen, I see about your medications being backed order twice. I'm gonna tell you something that I heard. Hey, this no, let me be quiet. Well, look. Well, while she being quiet, don't forget to uh, see us on Frank's speech Monday through Friday. You all at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central. That's on frankspeech.com. You can see Diamond and Silk. You know what I'm going to do? What I am going, going to, to go to the grocery store if they have them and get me some lemons. Uh huh. And get me some um, grapefruit. Grapefruit. Uh huh. And I'm going to wash them very, very well when uh -huh. I get home. Right. And then I'm going to take them and peel them. Uh huh. And I'm going to cut them up a little bit, the peels. Uh huh. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to boil that in So you're going to boil the peels? I'm going to boil the peels in water. Uh huh. And then I'm going to take it and put it in the container and put it in my refrigerator. And I'm going to take two tablespoons every day of it. Uh huh. Also, and another thing I'm going to do, I said I was going to do. What else are you going to do? I'm going to take and I'm going to go get me some. Some lemons, some grapefruit, and oranges. Uh -huh. I'm going to peel all of that, and then the fruit itself. I'm going to take, cut that, and boil it, and then I'm going to put it in a container to drink. So it. you're going to do the same with the fruit and the other things. For I'm going to do it with the peels uh -huh. first. Uh -huh. And boil that, uh -huh. and then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna do it with the fruit itself okay. and boil that. Okay, you will be surprised. And then take two teaspoons or two tablespoons. I'm gonna drink okay for, for the two tablespoons uh -huh. of the peels, is what I'm gonna drink. Okay, what it's I'm gonna take. take okay every day, uh -huh. and then the other uh, uh concoction <laughs> from the fruit, <laughs> from the fruit, I'm going to drink that. I'll drink me a small glass of that every, every day. day. Uh -huh. I got That's you. Exactly I got what you. I'm gonna do. I got you. I surely am. I got you. I surely am. Mm -hmm. Look, I can't tell you outright. But I can tell you what I'm going to do. Well, I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. Francis said, hey, guys, are you still in contact with President Trump? Listen, we don't kiss and tell. But we know that President Trump is doing fine. Doing I can tell very you that. well. We don't kiss and tell, but we know he's doing uh -huh, very he's well. Doing great. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Somebody said I did the same recipe and added uh, uh, tonic water to mine. Okay, Francis. So you know what time it is, baby, yes. right? Yes. Listen, listen. Do like the old... What did the old people do? What did they do? Remember back in the day, there wasn't doctors for them to just run to and stuff. What did they do? Well, we got to take care of ourselves. Now, I don't know who this calling me. See who that is. Oh, this is my son. Okay, okay y'all. Listen, we love y'all. Please don't forget to join us on Frank's Speech on Monday. Yeah, answer the call. Okay, really? answer the call. Okay, answer, answer the call just in case. Okay. 
You don't have to put them on speaker. Okay? Hello. Well, she's answering the call. She's talking to her son. Don't forget to join us on hey. Frank Speech weeknights, you all, Monday through Fridays at I'm 9 right p.m. Back, okay. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern, okay? Don't forget that our show, Crystal Clear, come on Newsmax TV every Saturday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, let's not don't forget to follow us on Getter. Yeah. G-E-T-T-R dot com. If you want to find where Diamond and Silk are at, that's where you can find us at on Getter. G-E-T-T-R dot com. Also, chat it. C-H-A-T- dit.com and then once again frankspeech.com and let's not forget that if you go over to mypillow.com that's mypillow.com and if you use code trump1 you can receive up to 66 percent off of your entire purchase that's right <laughs> hey somebody said they use lord lord and not real butter listen listen okay i love y'all we, we gotta go, go. bye, bye.